What is good everybody? Welcome to an epic My Damn Toys video. Today we have the official MDT WWE Action Figure Room Tour 2020. Alright guys, it is officially time for the MDT Room Tour 2020. We got a lot of things to get through. As you guys can see, the room is all set up. I took literally like six or seven hours yesterday to get everything up. We got some new shelves hung. We got some new things organized. I'm very, very excited to showcase this. And uh, you guys usually know we start the year. 2020 should have started. This should have been the first video uploaded for 2020. But I ran into some snags and everything like that. So we're going to do the room tour today. Most most likely the Battle Royal tomorrow for the month of December. Probably going to be pretty big because we missed last month as well. And then the start of the year will probably be the full loose collection like all in the backstage area. You guys know how we pile it all up. It'll be like a two hour long special video to start the year. That's not how we usually do things but since I ran into some snags this is the way we're going to do it. But I'm very excited to showcase everything guys. It's got a lot of stuff up on the shelf. We're going to take you guys through everything. Giving you guys the full room tour. Getting into the details of it. And with that being said guys let's go ahead and shut the hell up and dive into the official room tour of MDT 2020. So I wasn't sure what would look best as far as the lighting is concerned, guys. So I went ahead and turned on these three lamps. I also had the overhead light on, but uh, we'll just have to play that by ear and see how it goes. It kind of looks like it's a little better, but I know that the light bulbs can get a bit over the top. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get into this stupid-ass room tour. So when you come into the room, guys, you will see right here, this is exactly where you come in. You do have a closet right here. And when you go into the closet to the left here, I'm not going to show a lot of stuff, but we do have some Friday the 13th figures there. We have my airplane. We have all of my bins right here. I'm not going to go above the closet because we have some things I don't want to spoil. It's where I had to hide some of the stuff. But top drawer is weapons. This is absolutely full of weapons. We have my title belts and money in the banks in here. We have my cloth accessories and shirts and stuff that are not being used right here. Below that, we have all my rubber accessories, which is really hard to open because we have so many John Brown rubber accessories, and I don't use any of them. Just below that, we do have some extra ring stuff and uh, thing, you know, accessories to do with the ring, some figure stands and stuff like that. Below that, we do have all of my steel chairs, tons of that. You got the undisputed chair right there. Just below that, we do have my tables. Don't know if you guys can see down in there, but that is all of my tables. Airplane trying to prevent us from opening that. And in the bottom, we have all the ladders. And then over here we have some light bulbs and some other figures and stuff like that. Again, I'd show you what's at the top of the closet, but that is a surprise. So once you close that closet door, guys, you come out and you have my 2015 NFL Fantasy Championship belt. I'm actually two seasons behind on this. I have two more of these that I'm supposed to have, but I never bought them, so I do need to get a 20. I think, what is it? I don't, I don't know what it is, but I, I do need two more of those to hang up. I don't even know where the hell I'd put them in here. On the back of the door, we do have the nice basketball goal, and I do not know where the hell the basketball is. Uh, Pro probably took it in his room, which is unfortunate, but, uh, you know, I, when I'm brainstorming ideas, I like to uh, shoot around, get a little layup session. From here guys, if we turn up to the right, you will see some figures on display and I'm going to go up there so you guys can see it a little bit closer and just kind of show you guys exactly what's going on up there. So on the bottom row up here guys, we do have some multiples. You have Luke Harper, Vince McMahon, Aiden English, Razor Ramon slash Scott Hall. We got Brian Pillman, Booker T, Graham Metalik, Rusev, Cian Almas, X-Pac, Elias, Fandango, and then we have our creator wrestlers that we made on Thinking Outside the Box at the end, as well as a Kenny Omega fantasy attire. And then above that, we do have Chris Benoit, Buddy Murphy, a bunch of flashbacks, as you guys can see. I've mainly put some flashbacks up here until the end of the row, but I figured why not put the flashbacks on display? I am missing quite a few there, but this is just a little overview, so you guys can kind of check out what's going on up here and what figures are up here. So that is pretty much it. This is figures that I really don't, I'm probably not going to touch. Oh my god, I'm falling. These are probably figures that I won't ever touch or anything, so they just go up on display above the closet. If you come down from that section and you come down here, you have my little work area slash art supplies and paint supplies and stuff like that. You can see markers and tools and stuff for customization and all of that. You got Dremels, you got paint, you got all kinds of stuff over here. My massive paint collection. A couple figures down here and yeah, I mean, this is just my basic where I put all my paint supplies and customization supplies. I don't customize right here though. I take whatever I want to do and I come over here 
and I customize right here while watching videos or doing whatever the hell. Not only is this the custom station or where I keep my custom supplies, underneath the table we have all my boxes that I am probably going to use for something in the future. I have an idea, but uh, I have to save those up. So I have all the boxes right there, and then I have some more boxes right there. I'm actually out of room now, so... Uh, yeah, I need to do something about that. Also got some shoe boxes right here. So we have all the customization bullshit right there. And then to the left, you guys will see some figures on display. On this bottom row, I just kind of went with figures that, you know, like the zombies and little knick-knack figures I had. We have the Masters of the WWE Universe right there, the Finn Balor and John Cena. Figure put up my two boys over Triple H and Ultimate Warrior, even though I love Triple H as well. But figured I put those two up. If we step back, guys, you will see the massive display that we have going on here. Like, absolutely massive display display. I love the way this is. I put custom shelves up in black and then I had to bracket them to the wall. But we do have all these different superstars mainly in timeline order from you know the time of the attire from when they wore it from the beginning of their career to current day and that's just kind of how I wanted to display my collection and so I am going to take you guys through this. So if you guys want to buckle up there's tons of updates and additions and stuff like that. So I hope you guys will get a kick out of this. We're going to start right here in the middle with my boy Finn Balor. So starting off on bottom guys you will see we have a ton of the Top Talents 2018 figure for different customs in the future. A lot of these are non-demon. We do all the non-demons first, but we have all the different looks of Finn Balor coming up. A ton of customs right here going into the Top Talents 2019. So we have all the different rainbow colors he's worn. You know, white, blue, red, green. There are some missing, obviously, but these are the ones I've gotten so far. I really want to get a bunch of NXTs. I'm missing a ton of his NXT attires as far as non-demons go, so I do want to get some of those. And I need to get some Prince Devitts in here, but moving on we do have some brand new attires in the white kick pads i need to get an updated nxt finn balor but for right now this is what we got going on then it morphs obviously into the demon selection from mattel first so we have all the mattel demons up front in the beginning and then we shift on over and we keep going and then it gets into the custom so at the end we have the nxt take over the end finn balor we have my kayfabe secret santa custom from page customs or page customs on instagram right there and then we have my custom made wrestlemania 35 finn balor made by myself. Moving on over, we do have some Prince Devitts. We have Venom, Devitt, Joker, Devitt, Punisher, Wrestle Kingdom. We got Spawn, Anti-Venom, Freddy Krueger, and then we have some other custom Finn Balor of the Months that I did uh, a long time ago that I need to bring back, but I just haven't. I just haven't had the time or anything like that, but then we have some Fantasy Made Balors, and that is the Finn Balor Collection. Every figure on display for right here is pretty much an elite, like 98, 99% of them are elites. All the Finn Balors are elites, so that's nice to see. Besides, obviously, the Ultimate Edition right there. From Finn Balor, Valor, guys, it does go into Daniel Bryan, and I am missing an ass ton of Daniel Bryan's. Very upsetting. I really want to complete the Daniel Bryan's and get them all up here, but for now, this is where we stand with the collection. So we do have a bunch of multiples right here, two of the Elite 68, two of the Elite 73. Moving on down, we do have the Kane section, and again, missing a ton of Kane's. Very upsetting about that as well, but this is what our collection looks like as it stands today. Need to get a lot more, though. There's a ton of Daniel Bryan and Kane figures I got to get, but for now, this this will work, I guess. Now, we go up from Kane, guys. We do have the Edge collection. We do have a basic edge from Unforgiven right here, but the rest are the elites. Really wish they'd pump out more edge elites. Going on down, we do have the Dean Ambrose slash John Moxley collection. I really do need to get a really nice like John Moxley custom. Just haven't gotten around to that just yet, but I do have the Dean Ambrose collection right here. A few head sculpts. A little Jimmy King head sculpt that I still have yet to make. Need to make that guy very soon. From Dean Ambrose, guys, it does go into the New Day or Xavier Woods, Big E, and Kofi Kingston, and I did have more Kofis, but then I ended up using their torsos for Cedric Alexander customs and stuff like that and fix up so I did uh, have to use some of those so that's unfortunate but I will get those Kofi's back really like Kofi there so we got all the New Day together had to put those together on display coming into the middle we have my boy KO one of my favorite wrestlers so uh, all of my favorite guys are typically in the middle that's how I usually do it the Finn Balors used to be right here on the shelf where you see Undisputed Era but then I had to move them down here because the opposite side of the room had some different things moving around so I had to rearrange a lot of it but right here we have my Kevin Owens collection so different attires of Kevin Owens. We got some fantasy slash custom attires. We have some different uh, shirts that we, we custom made. We got some money in the bank in here and just different looks over the years of Kevin Owens. Very, very uh, big Kevin Owens fan, so I wanted to complete all his different looks. Obviously, there are some ones that are, you know, redone and stuff, but uh, for the most part, we do have all those different custom shirts. Into the corner, we do have Sting. So we have Stings over here in the corner. Very nice. You got Crow Sting and then, of course, the uh, Surfer Sting in the back. Need more of those for sure, but for now, this is the small collection. I like Crow Sting better, but I do need to get more Surfer Stings. Next up, we do have Trash Corbin. Trash King Corbin, I should say. So he does have his own section there. Need to get that new basic.
Classic 102 to fix up that and update it. Then we have the Beast Incarnate collection. So we have all the Beast Incarnate. We have the Brock Lesnar's up front, and they look pretty good all collectively together. Are uh, also missing some of the ones in the shorts, like the black and red, I think Elite 19 or something. But nonetheless, we have all the Lesnar's. Coming above Lesnar, guys, we do have the Shinsuke Nakamura collection. Starting off with the Survivor Series, we got the Ultimate Edition, some customs, the Elite 57, the NXT Elite. Going on into the Shane McMahon Elites. We do have a basic right here. So one basic Shane, the rest are elites. Or two basic Shanes, you stupid jackass. From Shane, we go into the Samoa Joe collection right there. So we got a bunch of elite Samoa Joes. Some of them may actually have more. It's just because some of them are over there on the MDT and Vindication roster shelves. So you guys will have to see those later on. But for now, these are just the ones that are extras. Coming into the middle, which is a new section, we do have the Mustafa Ali's, the Ricochets right there. Beautiful custom by Mac Decals right there on Instagram if you guys want to get some custom work done. Mac Decals, fantastic right there with the pink and white fantasy attire. We have Aleister Blacks with the custom all white. We got Tommaso Ciampa. Coming into the middle, we do have the Undisputed Era. I wanted it, just like New Day, I kind of wanted to put all the Undisputed Era together. So we have all the Coles, and if you're wondering why the Coles are different heights, it's because some of them have the fix-up legs, and some of them do not. So I do have to do all that, but we do have Kyle O'Reilly, Bobby Fish, Roderick Strong, my boy in the middle. Need more of him, and Adam Cole. And then finishing up this middle section, we do have the Storm Collectibles Hulk Hogan figure which I am missing a couple, which I could have sworn I had, so I, I gotta find those somewhere, but there are the Hulk Hogan's. Just to the right, we have the Chris Jericho collection, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, so we do have quite a few of those from the debut through the late 90s into the early 2000s, coming on into the mid-2000s, into the later 2000s, and then into the 2010s, and then we have a little custom right there with the defining moments, a little fix-up. Then we have La Champion, the AEW champion, a little bit of the bubbly. Oh! Need to fix that head skull, but there it is, Chris Jericho with the AEW title. To the right of that, we have some Uso figures, the red versions, the Elite 64 over on the other shelf. We have the Braun Strowman section, missing a few of those, but nonetheless, there they are. And then we have my boy Cedric Alexander here at the end, and I do have a couple uh, customs of Cedric, but they are not featured right here. These are just my extras waiting to be customized. Just above Cedric, guys, we do have the Shawn Michaels collection, starting off with the Ghostbusters. It actually works from this way with that Retro Fest all the way down. Uh, just Shawn Michaels is one of those guys that I just want more of. I know that we're missing a ton from the middle 2000s. We really need a lot of those attires, and I am missing quite a few, so I do definitely want to track those down. Really don't know how the hell I'm going to put all these guys up on the shelf. I'm going to need a bigger room or something because these are not all going to fit once we get some of these figures in here, but there is the Shawn Michaels. To the left of him, we do have all the Mrs. Missing a couple of those I am sure that I am missing two or three of those maybe even four. Uh, you don't really realize how many Elite Mrs. we've gotten until you kind of look at your collection and you know kind of break down how many we've gotten from Mattel. To the left of the Miz we do have the Big Show so I am missing some of those but we have about five of those right there between Kurt Angle and the Miz. Really love this Fan Central Elite. That is a really really good Elite. After Big Show we have one of my other favorite wrestlers. We have Kurt Angle over here. We have that terrible Shield Kurt Angle all the way on the right but we do have have his debut working all the way through. In the middle section here, guys, we do have the game Triple H, which is also one of my favorites of all time. So we have like a current looking Triple H. We have a fantasy attire in white, and then we just kind of have a bunch of different attires and looks. Some of these are multiple, so I do have to get some customization going, but for the most part, we you know, you go down, you get into some different eras of Triple H, you get into the longer hair. That's a little stupid DX fix up right there. I just threw the green boots from the Mojo Rally Elite. Just to give it a different look, uh, I do need to switch that back though as it is not accurate and that kind of upsets me. But here we have all the different Triple H's with a handlebar mustache. You got clean shaven from WrestleMania 20, 2003, 2002, early 2000s, all the way back to Hunter Hearst Helmsley. In the corner behind Triple H, we do have the Chad Gable and Jason Jordans, or Shorty G, I guess I should say, American Alpha section right there. Coming up, we have a very small Macho Man collection, but I am working on that, so I am missing an ass ton of Macho Men, but you know, it's on the agenda. And up front, we do have Bobby Trashley right here. Still gotta get the Royal Rumble Elite that is gonna release very soon. We come above Bobby Trashley, guys. We do have the club, so we have Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows up front. Beyond that, we do have some Goldbergs. We have the main event Raw Ring. We have the Elite 74. We have a custom from Beast Nation, and then we have the entrance greats. And then at the back, we have the 24-7 champion. I don't even know if he's 24-7 champion right now, but we do have our 
truth. And since we're right here, we might as well finish off this little section right here. Up front, we do have the Ultimate Warriors, which I am missing a ton of, obviously. We have the Mick Foley slash Cactus Jack slash Mankind's Dude Love. And then we have a few of the Gold Dust here at the back to complete this section. So that pretty much does it for this whole left side of the uh, WWE action figure display. And then at the top, we have my boy Hitman, favorite game series ever. Coming into the middle, guys, we have one of my favorites of all time. We have Randy Orton, so we have the Legend Killer, or I should say we have when he won the IC title, then we go into the Legend Killer phase after he won the world title. Goes through, and then, of course, he gets the full sleeves. You got the Shooting Star RKO right there in green. You have a few different defining moments. I don't have their title belts on display, but just a bunch of different Randy Orton's custom head sculpts and custom attires from BEW Animations, Absolute Beast Customizer. And then up here lately, we have a bunch of Elite 67s because I do want to do some customs and torso swaps and stuff with him. So uh, there are the Randy Orton's. Very plain, but you know, the different trunks and head sculpts are what makes them. And then at the end, we have uh, a custom pot made by my boy Rodney, and then we have the official Randy Orton pot. On to the right side, guys, we do have Sami Zayn. So we have five of those. I have an El Generico over on the other shelf. I'll show you guys later. It morphs into the Batista section, so we have the Batistas moving on, so you have the early evolution days onto his singles run, and then later on, then you got Blue Tista, and then you have the most recent, his retirement match for WrestleMania 35 with Triple H right there, the Elite 72. Then we move on to the Rey Mysterio section, the Elite 72 is on another shelf, so I will show you guys that later, but you have all the different Rey Mysterio Elites. I think I'm missing a couple, maybe. I know that uh, Mattel has pumped out a ton of Rey Mysterio, so there are, is the Rey Mysterio collection. Going above Rey Mysterio, guys, we do have The Rock, so you have the Ghostbusters Elite, and then it just kind of goes through from the end of his career, where we are currently, all the way back to his debut with Rocky Maivia, so we do have quite a bit of Rock Elites, I think it's up to like 20-something, and you know, since we did Rock, we had to put Stone Cold Steve Austin right behind him, two of my favorites of all time, two of the goats right there, so we did put Stone Cold behind him, so we have all of his trunks looks back in the back, not all of them, but most of them, then we have his blue jean shorts into the blue jeans, and it's really cool to see all those up next to each other and then you have of course the walmart exclusive ghostbusters elite one more little overview of the shelf of the stone colds and the, the rocks and then since we're right here we might as well knock out the cm punks and roman reigns so at the top we do have the cm punk collection not a massive collection and missing quite a few but i do like those up there with roman reigns so we have the cm punks and a lot of those are pretty rare and hard to get and you know pretty expensive so we have uh, all the roman reigns from different vests and things like that so you go all the way back to his NXT days into the Shield, and then you have his singles run with all of his different color vests going all the way through. And then at the end, you get some fantasy attires and stuff like that, like the U.S. vest. You get the all-white attire, and then you get the Bloodline Roman. And then if we come to the middle section, guys, we have the holy grail of my collection, my John Cena, the GOAT. We have my John Cena collection, so we start from his debut, and we go through the timeline of all of his different shirts, all of his different attires that he's worn over the years. He's supposed to have championships on display here, but we have multiple customs and, you know, different moments and t-shirts that he's worn. Some of them do need to be updated and fixed up because I did it so long ago that I do need to change some of their parts and stuff, but it's all I had at the time. So right here, you will see through the years there, and then and we come down through here, you have breast cancer awareness into 2013 and all his different t-shirts and looks and stuff like that. This is definitely my favorite part of my collection. It just looks so good up on the shelf. So then you have through 2014, 2015, different t-shirts, different t-shirts. We are missing the green version of the Never Give Up right there in the middle with the orange. You have his Ellen Show return on the 4th of July into the blue and orange and up to current day we have the Lance Catamaran. We have the MDT Championship shirt right there with the fix up and then we have the Ghostbusters Elite then we have my You Can't See Me armband that I caught off John Cena at a show at SmackDown. And then we have my custom can from a huge fan of the channel. And you can't see it right now, but if you aim a flashlight up in there and... I don't know. It, it makes John Cena's face. It's very cool. I wanted to put that on display. Shout out to my boy Brad. But one more little overview of the Cena's. Very happy with the way all of this came out. Again, I do need to uh, update a couple of them and put some titles on display. And there are some that I could add, but for now, this is what we got. So before we move on, one more little overview shot of all of that. And then coming over here, we have my beautiful zebra print curtains. Above that, we have my RKO blanket. Love Randy Orton, so I wanted to hoist that up above everything. Down here, we do have some different weapons and stuff in that little top portion right there. Right here we have my custom GM's office. Looks like the clock fell off the wall right there. Very upsetting. We have a little custom WWE figure truck. We have some in-case loyal subject figures right here. 
And then we have my huge box of loose John Cena Elite. So this whole box is full of loose John Cena figures, and they just don't go up on display. I did want to make a display for them somewhere, but this will do for now. I just kind of keep them in here for fix-ups and future customs and things like that. Below here, we have my loose WWE figure collection like that wouldn't fit on the shelf. Like You see this Ultimate Edition Triple H, and then you have a bunch of different Elites that are not up on the shelf. So that is what we got going on in this box. Right here we have my loose fodder that inspired the Thinking Outside the Box series here on our channel. So these are just all my elites that have parts missing and things like that. And then we have my basic figures that are in parts and shambles that will probably end up being crowd members eventually. And then on the bottom we just have a bunch of stuff down there for customization and just random things that uh, can help the channel. Coming over to the right guys, on the wall we do have my WWE spinner that is autographed by Jeff Hardy up at the top. Met him a couple years ago, two and a half years ago, and he signed my WWE Championship, so that is one of my holy grails there. We have my Universal Championship with the Finn Balor side plates, because why not? So we have my, all these are replicas, by the way, no commemorative. I don't I don't like that. You know, there's no point in getting the commemorative. Just spend the extra 100, 150, get the metal plates. So there we go. We got the spinner title there. Universal Championship, we have my Big Gold World Heavyweight Championship autographed by Edge down here. And then we have my WWF Championship right there at the end. So these are four of my favorite titles of all time. Not the not the Universal. Not that. That's garbage. Had to get it with the Finn Balor side plates though. It looks so good and so cool. But the Spinner, the Big Gold, and the WWF title right there definitely some of my favorite titles of all time. Back here we have my backstage set. You know, uh, we film back here. We do videos back here. We got the Christmas tree set up for Christmas, obviously. But this is where I film my videos. You got uh, my camera Try Obviously, I'm holding the camera, but the tripod goes here. The tripod's here and then I hold the camera and obviously film and you know all the, all the good jazz that you guys see coming over here we do have some accessories and things like that so we got the car we got some ladders and stuff just a bunch of bull crap going on right here some future fin customs um, just a bunch of stuff in the works this is the official MDT creative uh, writing pad so in here are all of the ideas for the pick fed anything I have an idea for video something jot it down here so I have all my ideas this book is literally full of all kinds of stuff you can see the pages all tattered out and ripped out right here we have all of my junk Cena fodder in this baggie, so any John Cena hats, fodder, chains, anything goes in this bag. Right here we have all of my Finn ba Balor fodder, so we have any Finn Balor fodder, oh god in heaven. So any Finn Balor fodder goes inside this bag. Moving on, we have the baggie full of Jeff Hardy fodder, so there's a ton of Jeff Hardy fodder in this bag. Head sculpts, arms, even a broken down Elite right there, so that's going to be in handy in the future. Any interchangeable hands that I have will go into this bag, so any interchangeable hands we get from Elites and stuff, I go ahead and put them in there. We got hats in this bag, headphones and mics in that one, and then a bunch of random little accessories in that bag. And then all this is just a bunch of garbage. You got the Royal Rumble, MDT Royal Rumble stage right there, and just a bunch of random crap right here. Then of course you have my computer and stuff right here. So you have my computer, you have my camera that I record the pick fed with, you have my desktop here, you have my monitor here. This is my uh, brainstorming football. I go ahead and just throw this around when I'm trying to brainstorm ideas. Diet doozy, because why not? Don't waste calories, Brad. You want to eat your calories. Don't drink them. And then we have my cell phone that I forgot to show you guys on Christmas, but I got this new case, and I got a brand new custom MDT pop socket that my wife got me, and then I have ink all over my hands because for some stupid reason. But there's my MDT pop socket, and then if you look under the table, you'll see Alley Cat. Alley Cat. So there's Alley Cat, and then uh, we have some snacks under there, because, you know, I'd be snacking. Obviously, PS4 and stuff right there. But now that we have covered the gaming station, if you slide over here, you will see all of my fodder boxes. So this top fodder box is just full of Seth Rollins stuff. This is literally just Seth Rollins fodder, so any Seth Rollins head sculpts and stuff goes in here. So this is all Seth Rollins fodder. All of these are just arms and legs and head sculpts and torsos and all kinds of bullshit. So there's all the fodder boxes. Under here, we have, just, we have some ringside collectibles cases, another tripod, just some random stuff in here, accessories, uh, all kinds of like different stuff for the pick fed goes under here. Need to organize it a little bit more, but there's that. And then now we have to move on to this wall of display. So I guess we could start down here and just work our way across and we'll finish this figure uh, display and then we'll go into the fan mail and then we have these figures in this wall and then we'll be out of here. So on this bottom shelf, we do have the Seth Rollins collection starting from the NXT and then it moves through the Shield years into obviously his heel turn and then his own WWE Championship run right there. Got some Money in the Bank briefcases and defining moments on display. Got the Elite 45 Rollins and different fix-ups. You got the TNF Elite. 
the top talents. You got the Elite 52, the Elite 57, you got the SummerSlam Rollins. After that, you have the Elite 64 onto the other top talents in the 2018. You got some customs down here at the end with the WrestleMania 34. You got his summer 2018 attire. You got, you know, Thanos Rollins, Royal Rumble Rollins, WrestleMania 35. Some different fantasy attires. You even have the custom Punisher right there. And then we have some different fantasy attires that I've made and one made by Burnout Inc. in the white and blue and black and gray. I love that one. After Seth Rollins, it moves on into the Undertaker collection. So we do have the Undertakers on display right beside him. A ton of those as well. So you have the beginning of The Undertaker's career, and then it just works all the way through. And obviously we are missing some, but uh, for now this is what we got. And then we ended up with the Ghostbusters Elite and then some future uh, different Undertakers right there. And then if you guys are big followers of the channel, if you guys know what the memes are, we do have my meme collection of the channel. So you have Selling Cigarettes Behind the Gymnasium, Dean Ambrose. You got the Founding Fathers, George Washington, Abe Lincoln, and Teddy Roosevelt. That George is my favorite figure in my collection. We have our Jason Statham, our Big Torito, our Little E, our Egghead Finn Balor, Santa Claus Rollins, Santa Claus, our Killer Custom, our uh, Gunshot Victim AJ Styles, Juan Hardy, and then Rakesh Lee there in the back. Coming down one section, guys, we do have some different customs here. So you have uh, Bad Luck Fale, Tama Tonga, Jungle Boy, and Luchasaurus right there. Very happy with the way this Luchasaurus turned out. Me and BEW uh, double worked on that as a group effort right there. And then it goes into kind of just some rain roster guys that I don't have to go onto the shelf to get. So you have a custom elite, Keith Lee. You got Tony Nese, Pete Dunn, Matt Riddle. And just a bunch of guys, Tyler Bate, Leo Rush, EC3, Drew McIntyre, Buddy Murphy, Lars Sullivan, um, and just a bunch of main guys that, you know, don't have their own shelf or I don't want to have to get way too high up to get them. So Revival, Ali, Ricochet, Mysterio, Cian Almas, Eric Young, Roman Reigns, and the Fiend Bray Wyatt with his Blue Universal Championship covering his face. So that is the middle section and the bottom section. I do have to cover that top row there with AJ Styles, but just a little overview. Um, comment down below how many figures you think can fit between that wall and that wall. And I'll go ahead and tell you right now, Brad, it is literally 100 figures. 100 figures can fit wall to wall. And I plan on actually buying two more shelves to put on that side over the AJ Styles and then on this side in front of Jeff Hardy. All right, guys, last row of figures on this wall. We have the AJ Styles in front of the AJ Styles flag. So I thought that would be a pretty cool display. So we have all the different AJ Styles right here from the Elite 47, Elite 51, Network Spotlight, Elite 56, the Survivor Series Elite, Elite 61, Elite 66, Top Talents, a custom attire right there in white. And then you have the other top talents and then the Elite 74 all the way up. Really just need a bunch of AJ Styles, man. There's so many attires we don't have. I can't believe Mattel hasn't given us a red attire just yet, so that's unfortunate. Hopefully we get that very soon. After AJ Styles, guys, it does go into one of my favorite wrestlers, Dolph Ziggler. So we have the beginning of Ziggler with the Elite 5, Elite 13, 19, different customs, Elite 24. And then we get into the long tight Ziggler. So a ton of customs right here made by Showstopper Custom Figs. That promo attire Ziggler in the middle made by Mad Reaper Studios very very talented customizer both of those guys are outrageous so they make all kind of top-notch work so I definitely want the best of the best in the collection so I did have some of those customs made so we have all the Zigglers there and the Zigglers had to go in front of the steal in the show cash in Dolph Ziggler plaque autograph right there I love that it looks so good up next to the channel especially and then I went overseas in Cosmel Mexico and had that steal in the show surfboard made to go above the steel in the show plaque so that's pretty cool right there having all that on display together and to the right of my plaque I do have my Dolph Ziggler ring worn hoodie from 2015 Hell in a Cell and it is autographed by Ziggler at the top and there is an image of him wearing the hoodie so that's pretty cool right there Hollywood heel DZ crew right there looking pretty good just below that we do have the Matt Hardy so we have all the Matt Hardy figures together I really didn't realize how many Matt Hardys I had until you know making this video right there but I do have a bunch of Matt Hardys there and they are obviously up next to his brother Jim Jeff, who is one of my favorites of all time. I love Matt Hardy too, but Jeff Hardy is definitely one of my favorites of all time. So you have all the different Jeff Hardy collection. Uh, you have the non-face paint Jeff Hardys up front and then to the side there, you have all the different uh, face paint Jeff Hardy. So multiples of a lot of them for future customs and fix-ups and stuff. So there are all of the Jeff Hardy elites. And then at the end, we do have the custom Punisher Jeff Hardy at the end. And I thought that looked really sick right there with all of them in front of the Jeff Hardy flag right there with Enigma up top. So the Jeff Hardy shelf is looking pretty good. Again, I do need to put something there. 
and on the other side as well so that I can, you know, put them all together. One thing I will say, I plan on having all of my Rollins here, and then after Rollins, I plan on having all of my Finn Balors, but the Finn Balors would not fit, so I had to settle for putting them on this bottom shelf and then continuing them on to here. That's really unfortunate. I want to have them all, you know, straight across, but that did not work out. So after this display and this wall and all of this stuff, you go to the right, you have all of my fan mail and little knickknacks that I've gotten over the years as far as figures and stuff. You have my custom Punisher Rollins pop right there that I love, my MDT Balor Club custom demon with no head sculpt. We got a Finn Balor pop, a bunch of different figures and knickknacks right there. So if you send me any little figures, I try to put them on display right there, but I am running out of room, obviously, and we got the zebra print to represent the channel. And one thing I actually almost forgot to show you guys, I completely forgot, I forgot to actually even hang it up, but it is my silver play button presented to My Damn Toys for surpassing 100,000 subscribers. Very awesome plaque. I'm so proud and happy to own that. I still haven't hung it because I don't really have a place to hang it. Uh, I need to find a really cool place to hang that, so uh, it'll probably go where that fantasy belt is or something, the fantasy football championship, but thank you guys so very much for subscribing and, you know, being a big supporter of the channel. This plaque would not be possible without any of you, so thank you so very much for watching and liking and subscribing, and thank you guys so much for this beautiful plaque. I know we're about at like 160,000 now, but it is cool to look back and see the 100,000 subscriber plaque. Very awesome. I love this. And then from there, guys, we do have my retro collection, so all the retros are up there. I am missing quite a few of those, but uh, these are what I have on display so far. We have my MDT flag blanket right there, made by my wife. We have the Elite Squad Mattel poster sent to me by Mattel. You got some different muscles right there. If you're wondering why these uh, sticky notes have my name and my damn toys on it, it's because I stuck them there because that means that somebody at Mattel, when they send me packages, somebody at Mattel knows my name, so I just thought that was cool, so I went ahead and stuck those up there all together. We have my WWE calendar right there on the month of December with the Dead Man. We have my John Cena autograph right there, framed and posterized. We have my figure toy company, Kill Steen, Kill Ring of Honor, Kevin Steen slash Kevin Owens that I got from my boy, Unstable1047. Thank you so much, Christian. And we have my autographed t-shirt sent to me personally by Zack Ryder up there. Woo, 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 you know it, I know it right there to complete the wall display. And then the last few figures we have to show you guys. Over here we have the Ultimate Edition Bret Hart, a couple of Vegetas because he's my favorite anime character of all time. We have the women section, so any women figures go right here, any women elites. Um, any extras go in my drawer because I don't have any spots for them, but I do have all of the main ladies here. So Shayna Baszler, you got Becky Lynch. You got Bailey, Alexa Bliss, Sasha, Charlotte, Nia Jax, all of those. A couple custom leaders right here. Iconics, Ultimate Edition, Ronda Rousey. Moving on down, we do have the Vindication shelf. So we have all of the Vindication people. If you guys don't know what Vindication is, it is my MDT WWE action figure pick fed. So go watch the MDT wrestling playlist. And the first episodes are pretty garbage and terrible and just awful. So it'll, get a, it'll take a while to get to the good posing or decent posing. But, you know, uh, I'd appreciate it if you guys go back and watch. But here is the full Vindication shelf with the Elite Champion Kenny Omega, Iron Man Champion Cody Rhodes, Marty Skrull Revolutionary Champion, and the MDT Tag Champions, the Young Bucks. There's a little overview. Got the Wyatt Colt there. And then moving down, we have the MDT Champion Roman Reigns, the Usos as the World Tag Champions. They're the bloodline together. You have the Extreme Champion Kevin Owens. You got Jack Swagger. You got Cedric Alexander, John Cena, Dean Ambrose. All the different characters and, and people from the MDT Live roster, obviously, coming down through here. Then I have the New Day with their tag titles, because why not? For predictions videos, they're just right there. You grab them off with the titles. GM Eric Bischoff. But there you go. That is pretty much the full MDT figure room tour right there, guys. I mean, I, I took you through everything. All the figures on display, all of the shelves, all of the different stuff. Alley Cat Hog in the gaming chair now. So I have my gaming chair right there for my wife for Christmas. Very nice. I want to get an MDT headrest or an MDT logo inscripted right there. We'll have to see about that. And uh, there's my VIP chairs from a WWE live event which are both broken now, so that's upsetting. But that is pretty much it for the figure room tour of 2020. Again, I did not want to upload this today, but you know what, Brad? I spent so much time working on it and getting it ready that I didn't want to go ahead and film the full loose figure collection when I just put all these up on display. You might as well knock out the room tour, upload that, and then in the next couple days, go ahead and do the massive figure collection. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching the room tour of 2020. Can't wait to see what 2021 brings. We 
we may be in a different house, but we will also have a little one with us. So that is going to be awesome. We're so excited and can't wait. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.